Well, welcome! I'm so excited for our first ever Kasha Davis cooking show. I thought maybe, just maybe, you'd enjoy Kasha's Balls of Love. That's right, it's time for Kasha's Balls. Oh my goodness, they're fabulous. We should talk about all the kind of ingredients and things that you need when you want to make Kasha's Balls of Love. Just because you're in the kitchen, that's no reason to let your hair down. All right, now why don't we go ahead and talk about the ingredients. The most important ingredient is not gin, although if you were talking media, it would be. So with regard to the ingredients, there's a lot of things that you need. Well, actually not a lot of things. There's always a necessity. There's always time for a cocktail. The necessities are very simple. I hope you like my little modest apron. The most important ingredient is one of our oh-so-favorite cookies. Actually, a lot of people like to dip their cookies in their favorite drink. I, too, like to dip mine into my favorite drink. Gin! Our second ingredient is cream cheese. Everybody loves cream cheese. And you know, girls, if you're one of those that try to use the kind that aren't the real cream cheese with all of the fat, it's a dessert. What are you, stupid? We don't do that. We like it with all the extra fat. Now, don't be fooling yourself with those low-fat types of uh, foods because you're only going to eat double. Let's not kid ourselves. And also, while you're getting ready with your fabulous cookies, it's always nice to touch up your drink because truly, it makes the recipe just fly by. There's always time for a cocktail. Next up, what do you do with these two fabulous ingredients? Why, you just put them in your food processor or your blender because this is the first Kasha Davis special here with our cooking and what we have is a low budget. So what we do then is we take our fabulous cookies and we put them right into the blender or food processor or mix or whatever you have and then you take your cream cheese and you put that in there and you're all set. And after you get all those ingredients put in together, you just close it on tight and then you start up the process here with the, the um, mixer and you just, you blend it all up is what you do. You get it all crumbled and it'll be nice when it's all done. Now once blended, down here in my Frigidaire, I have that finished product. What we have here in our portable Frigidaire is just that. A nice big lump of Kasha love. And what we do then with our lovely lump of love is we take it and we take little balls and we form them together nice and soft in your hands. Now make sure you wash your hands prior to doing this type of work because you know, you have to be prepared for any kind of sanitary or unsanitary conditions, especially here. Um, well, we won't say where we are because that would be insulting to the community. But what we do is we continue to roll these balls up and you do, you put them in places so that nothing can touch them. And you want to make sure that they are all nice and rounded. Now let's move on to where we put those lovely balls. Once finished, finished product, again, I think they look a tad bit like nipples. Remember, they're cautious balls. What we do with these then is we've got to get them to set because, foolish me, I forgot about the third ingredient and I've got to rush out to the store. Put these into our freezer and allow them to sit. Again, low budget. They'll sit and freeze up, which will be lovely for the next process. While they're freezing, I'm just going to run out to the store because I accidentally forgot my third and final ingredient because this recipe has three ingredients and I don't know what hit me today, but I just can't seem to remember all of the ingredients. I'll just go out, run around the inner loop and quickly pick up that third ingredient. I'll be right back. I'm back, everybody. Oh, all right. I was telling you about the third ingredient. I forgot. Oh, here's my apron. I forgot. It's raining outside. It's coming down like cats and dogs out there. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to continue on with this recipe because it's a good one. <laughs> Gosh, it's balls and stuff. Well, we got it all here for you, and what we're going to do is we're going to finish it. Oh, yeah, this is what I got at the store. It's chocolate. 
I like it a lot, and what I like to do with it is melt it. You should see the things you could do with melted chocolate. So we'll just put it in the microwave with our low budget microwave, open it up and put it in and close the door and then beep, beep, beep. I don't know how long, just until it melts. Who cares? A few minutes. They don't have a button like popcorn where you just push one. You got to push a couple. And then Okay, all finished. Hot chocolate. Here it is. Warm and tasty. Oh, God, that's heaven. Now, what you got to do is you got to go back down to your Frigidaire and pull out the stuff you have in the freezer. Remember these? Okay, now what we're going to do with these is we're going to complete the picture. You take them out and you dip, holy, well, you tip it in there and hopefully your chocolate's actually warm from the microwave versus the low budget microwave. Then you twirl it around and you put it back on there delicately, oh, so delicately and ladylike. And you continue to do this all night long because you have no life. So you're just dipping and you're making all these balls and it's a slow process, but you could do it because there's other things you could do while you do that. You have a lot of time on your hands when you're making all those balls of luck. You don't really need to shake it all that much though because usually it's pretty good on its own. And I think sometimes some people don't realize how nice things taste when they're in pretty glasses. <laughs> And that's what you do. You can make a lot of things here. And this is really the kind of thing that you can make probably a little better if you don't have too many of these. But you know, this might be the only one of those Kasha Cook shows or whatever the hell this is. It's time to sit around and drink. Alrighty, well, that's it for me, kids. I gotta go because next thing you know, I gotta rip off these girls because I got a little bathroom. I don't know how all this is going to come together, but you're the editor. Genius. Film master. Master life.